Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing with myself, Lewis. It'll be brilliant. Having yourself a great day, as always. Now, in the last episode, we set up the village testing area. Yes, the village testing area. And we managed to find a couple of good villagers, guys that have the things. It's very good indeed. Oh my god, is there loads of... Oh my god, I left the, the things turn into guys! Well, I guess a zombie got in there and infested my place. Oh well, that's fine. You guys are going... Wait, no, that's not going to work. If I send them down the pit, they're just going to... What will happen if I send them down the pit? It would just turn into blood, won't it? And then the blood will do something bad. All right, we'll, we'll sort that out later. <laughs> but at least we've got our villages, which is good. So we've got the guys that are trading for buttloads of food, which is great. So we can hang on to those. Now, today, I would like to sort out a little bit more with our water requirements. Because we've done a fair bit of water stuff. But we haven't really, you know, fully done as well as we can. Now, until we have an aqueous accumulator, there's not really too much more that we can actually do. But there are a few things. Now, because we've got applied energistics and we have extra cells, that we should be able to make a little system that means that I never have to go to a water station again. And that's what I'm going to try and do today. Believe me, though, once we get an aqueous accumulator, life is sorted. To be honest, once you've got an aqueous accumulator, there isn't really much else for us to do. <laughs> so let's do this. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make a controller that allows us to access fluids. So if we have a look in here at extra cells, Actually, before we do that, we're going to want something else completely. We're going to want a way to access all of the stuff inside our system. Yes, that's going to be a good way to do it. So we're going to make a wireless access terminal, because I think we probably should. It's something we should have made some time ago anyway. So we're going to need some of this stuff. So we'll grab one of you. There we go. And we'll make that. Good stuff. And that. Cool. So we've got our wireless access terminal, or a wireless access point. Now we're going to need a way of uh, getting into it, which we're going to use an ME wireless access terminal, which is going to require a few things. So we're going to need one of these. So we'll pop that in there. And we're going to need another one of these. So let's grab another one of those. And life has become so much easier now that we have this applied energistic setup done. It's just so nice. And uh, we'll grab one of you. And that should do that. Brilliant. All right. And the last thing I want to do is I want to make some range enhancers. Yes. Although I can't actually remember what they're called. The wireless something or another. Wireless boosters. That's the one. Now, the most that we can have of these is 16 at a time. So we can't make, you know, like millions, but 16 is a lot. So let's just grab a load of these. There we go. And now we can put this together. So where are we going to put this? I'm thinking <clears throat> we're going to put it on this side. Because I don't really like this little gap here. So anything to get rid of that is going to be brilliant. So we'll pop you in here. So this one can go here. Now we have to link this with our machine before we do anything. So we have to go into our controller. And we have to do this. So it's now linked to our machine. And we also need to come along here and pop in all of our boosters. Brilliant. Although we do need some power inside this. So let's go and charge it up now. We did make... Ah, yes, we put it in the... Uh, <laughs> we put it in the thermal expansion area. That's the one. We made ourselves one of those guys so that we can charge all of it. Which is brilliant. You know, I've really been neglecting this outside area since we built the underground base. Uh, I need to come around here. I really need to sort all of this out. So I need to build the dome over the top so that it keeps us away from all of the bad guys. And th there is a lot that we need to do. Although, why does it say there's a zombie? Is there a zombie hiding down here? Oh, is this the uh, villager zombies that are down there? Yeah. I think it could be. <laughs> Man, I can't believe I let that happen. Oh, well. They didn't have anything to trade anyway. They were worthless to me. All right. So we've got our guy around here, our energetic infuser. Let's top this up. So now we can access our stuff. Now, with the amount of range uh, increases that we have, the wireless boosters, we should easily be able to access most of our stuff from probably from here. Uh, we'll find out. Oof. Yes. <laughs> nice. There we go. Brilliant. Which is great. Now, is there anything here that I actually want to put in the system? I would like to put a load of ender pearls in there. Uh, we can put string in there. would be kind of handy. And... I think that's about it. I put some coal in there just in case. There we go. So that stuff can all go into our system. Brilliant. Cool beans. All right. So food wireless sorted. Let's start working on adding liquids to our applied energistic system. This is going to be brilliant because if we can start moving liquids away around that way, 
it's just going to be cool. And the amount of good things that we can do with that as well are awesome. Why do they look so... Is there baby villages in here? Is that what it is? Babies? Babies? Oh, no. no it, just, it looked like there were little baby villages on there. Is that working down there? Did I break something? Oh, man. I think I broke something. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. Let's do this. So let's start by making a way of accessing our liquids. So extra cells requires a few things before we can do anything. Now we do need a blast resistant ME drive and we're quite lucky that one of the quests that we've already done has given us a liquid storage cell. So we've already got a means of storing the liquid. We just need to pop it in one of these like we do with the other stuff. So to make one of these, we're going to need a few bits. So we're going to need one of these. We need a regular ME drive. We need an ME covered cable and a load of obsidian. And that is made just like that. And then we need one of you, and poof. Oh, cool, we've got obsidian in there already. <laughs> oh, we haven't got much obsidian, though. All right, so now we've got this. Let's pop it here, I think. Actually, no, that's going to be connected. Yeah, that should be connected. I don't actually know if that's connected, if it connects through the wireless access terminal. Huh. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Actually, no, I don't want it there. Yes, I do want it there. Do I want it there? No, I'm going to put it on this side, actually. I think that's a better place to put it. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put it here. There we go. That's going to be better. And then we can put the other bits down below. So now that we need that, we also need a way of accessing our liquids. So we do have an ME fluid storage monitor. Yes. Or ME fluid. Yeah, storage monitor. That's the one. So we're going to need some more stuff. So we're going to need an ME fluid emitter. So we need to make one of these. And I'm very quickly going to run out of these circuit boards soon any time now. So let's make that. And poof. And you. Cool, cool. And that should do the trick. Excellent. And we'll pop this one up here, I guess. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's all working good. So that's fine. That's doing its fang. Fluid storage. Wanna, let me let me, ah, it's probably because we haven't got anything in there. Let's uh, get ourselves some bits. Now, inside here, I should already have, yeah, there you are, one of those. Now, these can be popped inside here, I believe, to give us access. Fluid storage. I wonder if these are the other ones around. Like, there's two different types of monos, isn't there? We might have just made the wrong one. Let's have a look, because I think that's, like, the uh, one that shows one item, maybe. Fluid storage monitor, fluid... Oh, it's prob the fluid terminal, I'm guessing. <laughs> well, that's fine. We can have one an extra one for water, I guess. Yeah, this probably looks a little bit more like it. All right, let's make one of these. So let's grab you. And we'll grab this. Yes. And an ME Certus tank. I'm going to need a load of this glass. I'm going to need a load of Certus quartz dust. All right, I'm going to need inside my A bag. We must do some of the yes. <laughs> Much stuff in the bag. Oh, I got another two of those in there as well. Lovely. You can all go inside there. Brilliant. All right. So that should give us the bits that we need. So, uh, yeah. So one of these ones, we'll do that. We'll make a load of glass. Throw that inside there. And that'll make that. And we need another one of these. And poof. Cool. All right, so this one is hopefully going to be the one that lets us access our stuff. Now, it's all good having that, but I'll put that away for the time being. And yes. Oh, excellent. So now we can look at our stuff inside there. Brilliant. Now, we can also use these. So I could put these over here so we could see liquids and things from this side. Like, there's absolutely nothing stopping us from doing that. So if we dug this out, and uh, we'll have to fill this up in a second, but... We're going to have a guy coming down. <laughs> he is just waiting to get in there. Uh, if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right. Have I got any cables? I have. Lovely. So we could pop this on here. And any liquid we go in there, we could also see the liquid. So we could have a section for items and a section for all of the liquids, like the thermal expansion liquids and things like that. Because jelly cryofume and such and all of the other types of, uh, what are they called, the um, the uh, destabilized stuff and all that, that's all 
fairly useful, so I guess having a backup of that is nice. But we're going to want to send our water into it now, so we've got this done. We just need to send water into it, because at the minute nothing's going into our blast-resistant ME drive. Now, to be able to have water go into it, we need to accept it in like we do with anything else to do with applied energistics. So if we have a look in extra cells, all of the uh, wires are changed into fluid ones. So we have fluid import buses, export buses, and storage buses. And we also have uh, fluid level emitters. But we're going to want a way of importing stuff into our system. So we're going to make an ME fluid import bus, which is going to require some few things. We need precision buses and those. Now, I don't know if I have a precision import bus. I do. Brilliant. So that can go straight in there. And we want a fluid import bus. There you are. So we'll grab one of those and that. Brilliant. Excellent. All right. So let's try and get this liquid coming in here. Now, we can have it coming from here, but I don't know if this is going to work. So we just going to have to give it a go, I guess. So if we get rid of you, and get rid of you, and then what we can do is, let's see if we can get this to do both. Oh, we're not going to be able to, are we? That isn't going to work. <laughs> it isn't going to do both at once, because it's on a different line. All right. So... What's the best way to do this? Is there a section around here that is inputting water? Let's have a look. Because if not, I will just go and make another Tesseract. Because uh, I do like to keep everything on separate lines. Now, I don't think there's anything in this building that is accepting water from somewhere. Uh, no. Hmm. Actually... We'll take this one for the time being. And I'll make another one for this room. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, let's grab this. Because what is this powering? This is powering the spawner. Alright. So you can come with me. And we're going to set this one up for fluids coming in. And we'll put this down here as well. Yeah. Alright, so let's put this one here. There. And this one's going to be water. Good stuff. And we'll have the water uh, receiving. Receive. Now, let's see if this is going to work. Oof. Bam. There we go. Brilliant. Loads of water going into our system. Now, the cool thing that we can do with this as well is if I get a bucket, if I have a spare bucket on me, it uh, doesn't look like we do. Let's get a bouquet. All right, we have zero bucket. That's fine. We will uh, just make a bucket. Excellent. And if we go and grab ourselves some water from here, like that, we can go do this. Bam, there we go. So this is gonna show us that we've got 10 buckets worth of water inside. I think that's 10 buckets worth, 11 buckets worth, yeah, because it goes up in uh, middle buckets. Now, these guys do hold a certain amount, so you can only have five different types of fluids on a fluid storage cell. So a little bit different compared to how the regular A stuff works, that you can hold 63 types, these will only hold five. But you can hold a fairly decent amount on there. Now, partitioning these is a little bit tricky because you can't really partition them that well. But a good thing that Extra Cells does add is it adds a way of manually partitioning your drives um, at least I think this version does, maybe. Yeah, because we've got the uh, soldering station, so that should be able to, because you can alter cells that way, so. We might go into that a little bit, but for the time being, we're going to have water coming in here, so it's not too much of a pain in the bum. It should work just fine. So let's put that back up, and we'll do that. And cool, we're done. Brilliant. So we've got liquids going into here. Now, the next step is going to be auto crafting yes because we want to be able to auto craft the liquid and then pull it out of here now i don't know if i can actually do that but i'm gonna give it a try and if we can't then that's fine because there's gonna be other ways of doing it so first thing we're gonna need is going to be a fluid crafting chamber now these don't work in conjunction with the other crafting assembly thingamabob from applied energistics the big multi-block these actually kind of work by themselves 
At least I think they do. So, so we're going to give this a try. Now, we do need a few bits because we need a pattern provider and all of this. So we're going to need a load of these. And that's two of those. Oh, this is going to stretch us thin. All right. So we've got two of those. We need one of these, which needs... Oh, man, this is not going to be cheap. We're going to need one of these. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Let's have a look in here. Otherwise, I might have to go and do a few bits. Uh, 300. Or one 100. Okay. Uh, we, d we don't think I'm going to have enough for this. All right. Let's uh, see how far we can get, though. So one of these is going to require <clears throat> one of these is going to require one of those. We need some silicon for that. There we are. And that is going to need that. And that. What is that bit at the top? Oh. We just need a chest. <laughs> just one little chest. Bam. So that gives us an ME pattern provider. Okay, and we're still going to need another two conversion matrix, which we definitely don't have. So I'm going to need some more of those PR thingy 100s. All right, guys, I'm going to go and uh, mess around with to grab some of those, unless I have some spare. But I think I brought them all down. Oh, Jeebus. Die through the power of my wrench. <laughs> yeah, I need to go and make some more. All right, guys, we'll be back in a sec. All right, cool beans. We should be good, although I needed some more silicon. All right, so let's grab a load of these. There we go. We're looking good again. And now we should be able to make this guy. So once again, we're going back to here. We need to make two of these. So two of these guys. And some more tanks. Yeah, we need two more tanks. So let's grab some more of this. And what are we missing? Certus Quartz Dust. Man, where is my Certus Quartz Dust? Have a look. There we are. <laughs> All the Satis Quartz dust. Brilliant. So we'll grab a load of you. And I'm really hoping this is going to work because if it does, it's going to be awesome. So we'll grab two tanks. And. Bam. There we go. One fluid crafting chamber. Lovely. Now, we're going to need a place to put this, so I'm going to pop this here, I think. It's going to be a good place to put it. And now we need something to actually put in there. So we're going to need to grab ourselves, and we're actually going to need a couple more things. We're going to need a blank one of... a blank pattern. That's what we're going to need, a blank pattern. So let's get ourselves a blank pattern, and we're also going to need a way of inscribing this blank pattern cool beans and let's get a a ME pattern encoder brilliant now I think this is the right one to use so we'll make one of these there we are and now I think the way that we do this is kind of weird but hopefully this is correct. So if we go get some water, there we go. Now the pattern encoder I don't think needs any power, so I think we can just put it in here. So what we're gonna tell this guy is, oh we need to put that in there, don't we? There we go. So water equals water bottle, I think. <laughs> water plus glass bottle equals water bottle. Okay, so craps one water bottle with one water bucket and one glass bottle. Let's see if this works. So we have to pop this in here. Maybe. <laughs> Go inside the thing. Alright, so I've had a play around. 
and I cannot get it to work <laughs> with this guy, the ME Fluid Crafting Chamber. Now, I went and had a little looky-see on some forums, and it looks like that is just kind of a limitation of extra cells. Apparently, it's something that's being fixed and added to extra cells too, but it doesn't want to be in this extra cell. So it looks like it's something we can't do. I tried it with lava buckets, adding lava buckets to different things. Uh, it would work fine with things like cells, but for some reason, the glass water bottles just don't fill up. So... Even though we have the pattern correct, a water, because this would get counted as water inside the system, and a glass bottle and such goes into the water bowl, uh, it just does not want to do it. And I have no idea why. I just, maybe it doesn't do it. Maybe it's thinking this in here is actually a different type of water, because when you pick water up in the world, it actually does something different, doesn't it? But who knows? Now, what I've done instead is really just as good, so it works exactly the same which is nice because these guys here are actually inventories in their own so these me fluid terminals can be used as inventories although they only accept water they have got an input and output slot which is down the bottom right here so if we add inside a bottle to here it will get turned into a water ball and then it will get pulled out via a basic import bus back into our normal applied energistic system which is great. So now, if I wanted to get some water, I can grab these water bottles. So let's grab these guys here. I think this is a cold one. Yeah, we'll take that out for demonstration purposes. And I pop this in here like this. And we have two glass water bottles. Now, if I go back in here and I pop them in there, it's going to get changed back into water bottles for us. <laughs> How cool is that? Nice and easy. As long as I'm carrying my wireless access terminal around with me, we have all the water we're going to need. It's so much easier than going to one of my refueling stations that I've set up, because I set these little stations up all around the place, and we have got the one upstairs, which, again, refills itself, which is good. So we've got this one over here that refills itself when we put the water bottles back into here. They go down to there and come back out here. But being able to do it on the fly is so much easier. <laughs> like, so much easier. And if we manage to make, like, another one of these in the city, then we're sorted for water in the city as well, which is great. So, that pretty much does everything. I do have to redesign this area now, though, because putting all this here has kind of messed it up. Although, I could just put this underground. I don't know. Like, do I really need to go into this fluid terminal? I don't really think I do if all I'm going to be having is water in there because I got this little thing here that says, you know, you got 74 buckets worth in there. So at least I know how much water is inside my system. So maybe we don't need that. But I really like the idea of how this works. So if we went into here and I wanted to make some bottles. So say we want some bottles and I make... Uh, have I only got three bits of glass? That is insane. <laughs> have I got that glass? In? Wow. Okie doke. But if we do that and I do this, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to this fast enough, but if I go like that. Oh, there you go. You saw them go in and come out. <laughs> How cool is that? And if we go back in here and have a look at our water, bam, five water balls. Nice. So that is pretty much that. Sorted. In the bag. A bit of extra sales for you guys. Unfortunately, we couldn't get this guy working with the fluid crafting chamber, but I'm sure we'll be able to find a use for it. Um, I don't actually think I've derped on that one. I think it is just a limitation of it, but if you uh, do know if I've done it wrong, then make sure to let me know so we can change it. But the, old, the ultimate design of what we're trying to achieve has still been achieved, so I'm pretty happy with that. So we've got all the food we can ever need. We've got all the water we can ever need. I don't really know what else we need now. <laughs> I guess power, maybe, could be one. So the only other thing we have left would be something like making a big reactor. It doesn't need to be big because my place isn't that, using that much power. Now, uh, now, yeah, big reactors, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be that bad to make a big reactor. Apparently we have to go find the reactor controller. It's not something that we can actually make. So we will need to go and look around the city to find those bits. But once we've got it, we can throw a big reactor together and that will be fairly easy. I am thinking of making another trip back to the city at some point though because I'd like to pillage myself another one of these Tinker's Steelworks things. One of these, one of these scorched guys. So I can have a second one over here just for steel, because we're going to need a fairly large amount of steel if we're going to be making a big reactor. So that's probably going to be one thing that we're going to need. So I might go and find myself another city, because I've done a fair bit of pillaging in the first one. It'd be nice to go and locate a second one. Maybe we'll get the jetpacks out and do it that way. Yeah. <laughs> cool beans. But there we go, guys. That's that for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, I urge you to subscribe for some more awesome content. Have yourself a great day. Have a good one as always. And goodbye.